He had you go. <laughs> he had you over there crib walking the whole ninth round, going from pillar to post. Man, he bounced around the ring. You know, say for every corner like a two dollar hoe. Excuse me. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG and GM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang you, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. As you can tell, man, my voice is a little gone, man. We did a long 12-hour stream yesterday, man. So uh, I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate those that came through. You know what I'm saying? We had a lot of fun. Uh, we saw the undisputed uh, champion be crowned, Alexander Usyk. Kimba, uh-uh, come on. We saw we saw Alexander Usyk be crowned undisputed champion, or, or heavyweight champion for the first time in the quarter century. You know, say he won that over um, Tyson Fury. That was a that was a great fight, man. You know, <laughs> you know it's so funny because um, I'm laughing because um, I thought it was a great fight. You know, I thought Fury won. Excuse me, what? I had it. I had the score um 113, 114 in favor of Fury, but it was a close fight, man. So I'm not mad that Alexander Usyk won. I'm seeing that it's a robbery. You know, of course, every time somebody wins that that, that people don't, you know, if, if you want Fury to win and he lost and you're going to say it's a robbery, bro, I had Fury winning by one round, you know what I'm saying? But that ninth round was important. And, you know, it was funny because the post-fight interview, <laughs> Tyson Fury said, um, he said, man, you know, the person whose country's war toward won. So immediately I was like, um, I was like, man, you know, his country's at war. So in my head, I'm thinking, He's not making an excuse. He's just saying, yeah, man, you know, uh, the person, Alexander Usyk, he won because people people want to see a Cinderella story. So he's like, yeah, you know, he won and he's going to big up his country. But then I listened again. Well, well, like you had him in big trouble in the early rounds. Yep. What went wrong in there for you tonight, do you think, Tyson? First of all, I want to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe I won that fight. I believe he won a few of the rounds, but I won majority of them. And you know, his country's at war. His country's at war. His country's at war. So people are siding with the country at war, but make no mistake, I won that fight. That's a, this man really making an excuse saying, <laughs> saying that he won because because Ukraine's at war? Come on now. No, he won because at that ninth round, he was at war with your head top. Not like this. He had you go. <laughs> he had you over there crib walking the whole ninth round, going from pillar to post. Man, he bounced around the ring. You know, say for every corner like a two dollar hoe. Excuse me. You know what I'm talking about? So, so shout out to Tyson Fury, man. I like Tyson Fury because he's braggadocious and he's brash. Some people dislike him because they say he's immature and stuff like that. But that's fine. You know, I like him because he backs it up. He backs it up, and um, I, I don't mind somebody talking trash and backs it up. But at the same time, when you lose, you gotta hold that, man. You gotta hold that. And I do think that Tyson Fury uh, could have won by one round, but it was very close. I gave I gave um, Tyson Fury seven rounds, and I gave Usyk five rounds. And you know, um, but if somebody values a, a, a fighter coming forward uh, um, and consider him as a pressure fighter, then I could see how he had Alexander Usyk winning, man. But other, other than that, I don't think any controversy should, uh, should should tarnish this fight. It was a good fight. You know, um, um, Alexander Usyk won. Shout out to him. He's the best heavyweight champion right now. He, 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 he lines up with Evander Holyfield having a cruiserweight uh, undisputed championship and a heavyweight a disputed championship. So shout out to Alexander Usyk. Also, too, I want to say a shout out to Ajit Kabayel because he beat Frank Sanchez. I called that one. Uh, Ajit Kabayel, you know, Ajit is legit. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see Ajit Kabayel face the winner of Hergovich versus Dubois. I think that would be a good match. And um, Frank Sanchez definitely did good as well. A lot of people say they disappointed the Frank Sanchez. Frank Sanchez came out firing with accurate shots, precise shots. It's just that Ajit Kabayel, his pressure just warmed down. Man, you know, they are heavyweight, so it's hard to it's hard to maintain that level of maneuverability that Frank Sanchez was trying to implement throughout the duration of a uh, 
excuse me, throughout the duration of a 12 round fight, you know, for heavyweights, you know, they're big, they're big guys, and, and, um, they're, they're big guys, so, you know, it, it takes a lot of energy, but y'all let me know what y'all think, man, we have an undisputed heavyweight champion, I do not think it was a robbery, I think it was a close fight, although I had Tyson Fury winning by one round, I could see somebody having uh, Alexander Usyk winning, man, and that's what, that's what the judges did, so shout out to Usyk, man, heavyweight champion, y'all be easy, God bless, we out. Peace. Remember, doc, with God, we can do anything without God, we are nothing. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.